Okay, so Kendall had uh, mentioned that someone had asked about our awning, so we're going to do a video on everything that we've learned in the last uh, few years with tarps and awnings, which you know isn't everything, but hopefully you can get some use out of this. So invariably when you're camping in a vehicle like this, you're in hot climates and an awning can make a big difference in your comfort. And so what we have here is an awning that we bought from Home Depot. It's got a silver, it's got a silver top. So you face the silver top up and the brown side down, it's the heavier one and you have to really get a heavy one because the lighter ones number one they don't keep the sun out you can see the sun coming right through them and they don't last very long so this one is probably 10 by 14 and i'm guessing about 27 dollars when putting up an awning like this it's important to catch all of the grommets because they're all pressure points and if they're all holding the awning then it's going to last longer in strong winds and uh, over the long haul we've got it up with pvc pipes this is a two inch pvc pipe i probably paid somewhere around five to, pardon me it's inch and a half pvc pipe five dollars a piece maybe seven feet cut them put some ropes at the end of them to hold the corner piece however over here we don't want to hold the corner piece you can see where we did and it pulled the grommet out so we're paying for it and so all we would need to do normally is just put a bungee through this. A ball bungee would be best. This whole thing would be best if it had ball bungees, which you should be able to get at the hardware store. That's what this is made for. But we've got it framed in ratchet straps, which works out pretty well. If you uh, notice, this ratchet strap is twisted. And the reason it's twisted is because in the wind it hums and makes loud noises which twisting prevents. This one is heavy enough that it doesn't do that, but that's why that's like that. Kendall holds these for me when I install them, and if she wasn't around, I would just take a piece of rebar and drive it in the ground and just stick the, the PVC pipe on top of it, so stick it on both of them, and they would stay suspended while I set everything up. So if you're just a one-man show, that's all you would need to do. The stakes that we use are rebar, with a ring on them. We've got these at KB Tools, which is in downtown Quartzsite. Four of them for five bucks. I recommend something heavy, otherwise they're gonna bend and it's frustrating. It's hard to drive these into the ground. It's so hard that sometimes I use a cordless drill to start them. Just pre-drill the ground, put your stake in, use a heavy hammer like this. You can get these at swap meets or at the hardware store. I don't know if there's a one or a two pound hammer, but Anything lighter than this is not really going to do the job. Spring clips. These spring clips work out really well to hold uh, the tarp to the, to the poles. If at the end of the day you want to close yourself out to take a shower, maybe you've got your solar shower, been heating the water up, there's campers around. We're in Johnson Valley. Uh, off-highway vehicle uh, use area right now. That's what all the sounds are in the background. And there's campers all around us. So if we wanted to rinse off at the end of the day, we could take that tarp, spring clip it up across, and then do what we need to do, have our privacy, roll it back up and put it away. We don't like to have it down in the middle of the day because you like to be able to see out. So I think that's everything. That's everything that we know about uh, tarps. This is about 10 by 14. And hopefully this is of some use to you. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> <Turn it off. laughs>